What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can decrease lag and improve your overall connection stability, ping, and a bit more. While this video is a good guide to follow, unfortunately, if you have bad internet, it can't be improved dramatically. If you have an okay or good connection already, then we can improve it even further. If you're living in the middle of the ocean, don't expect one ping. So first of all, make sure that you're using a wired connection, not wireless. Having a wireless connection can be unreliable, especially when playing at a distance from a router. If your router is crowded with lots of wireless devices or just devices in general, try disconnecting extra unnecessary devices from the network. Having more devices on the network can cause extra congestion, meaning that your packets are kept for a short while before being sent off to the server, increasing ping and possibly decreasing stability. While we're on this topic, restart your router once in a while. This you should be doing at least once a week for the absolute best performance. Power cycling a router and even your gaming device or computer can help as well. So, a restart before playing can help. Port forwarding often doesn't result in a huge noticeable difference, but having your device properly port forwarded does mean that the connection is better in theory. If you'd like a port forwarding guide, make sure to check the description down below. Following it, you won't have less ping, but it can be much more stable and reliable. And of course, if you're suddenly getting a lot of network lag and you're far from the server, and of course, it's not the actual servers themselves as your friends can play normally, then try power cycling your router. And if that doesn't help, if you have access to a VPN, try connecting to a local server. Sure, you'll get a few more ping when connected to a nearby VPN server and then the game server, but changing the physical route your internet connection is taking to the server can help dramatically, especially when you're far away from the server like I am in South Africa. And finally, for the last tip, I'll actually be starting up the game. Simply head across to the settings in the bottom left and head across to the graphics option at the very top. Why are we here? Well, not only because optimizing these graphics settings will result in better FPS, it'll also result in better network performance as your CPU will be loaded less. If you're running a super low end CPU, then having a lot loaded in the game map at once can result in a lot of congestion on your actual PC, slowing down the rate and stability that packets are sent to and from the game server to your actual game itself to be displayed. Of course, while optimizing the game is crucial in getting the best performance, both network and FPS wise, if you'd like to optimize it, check the description down below for a link to a video on that. But besides all of that, the main option we're interested in here is the field of view option. Why? Well, simply because values greater than the default may result in a lower frame rate and some graphical issues. When you have the field of view much higher, you are loading a lot more in the game world, meaning that there's a much bigger pull on your CPU. Again, if you're running a lower end CPU, having a high field of view may not be the best for you. Try dropping your field of view and see how much it improves your CPU performance. If it improves it quite a lot, then it's probably going to improve your network connection as well, at least to the best that it can on your local device. Again, it won't be able to affect your actual internet connection, it'll affect the performance of your PC and therefore the connection of the game through your internet to the game server. Leaving this at 80 is probably fine, raising it higher, you can expect more pull on your CPU. So again, if you're running a lower end CPU, try dropping this instead or leaving it where it is. But besides that, you can see my NAT type is currently open. Again, port forwarding tutorial will be in the description down down below. That's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful in it. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.